Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it is a very, very fun one. I'm going to be doing the If I Could Only Keep 10 Eyeshadow Palettes tag. I originally got inspiration to do this video because yesterday I was watching Kelsey Brianna J's videos and she did a If I Could Only Keep 10 Palettes video. Turns out it's this whole tag and a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do this video. I've been seeing you guys requesting it. And then once I watched Kelsey's video, I was sold. This is a tag video originally created by Annette's Makeup Corner, so I will link her video down below for you guys. This is a really fun challenge, and I have to say I'm very happy with the 10 that I picked out. So if you want to see them, then just keep watching. For the 10, I didn't just pick my 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes. First of all, that's just too challenging for me, asking me to pick from my children, as I always say. I laid out all the palettes that I was picking because I wanted to curate a collection of 10 palettes that would fulfill all my needs, all of my creativity, and what I would want for every day, to evening, to holidays, all of that good stuff. So this is a curation of palettes containing colors that I feel I need to survive. <laughs> I want variety in colors, textures, dimensions, finishes, formulas, all of that good stuff and I really feel like I was able to do the that. first palette that I picked out. This one was a no-brainer for me. It was the first palette that I thought of. Kind of cheating because it's such a large palette. I, I feel like I cheated because I did pick a few palettes that contained a lot of colors but this one is amazing. This is the Vizzy Art Grande Pro Volume 1. Now the reason that I chose this is because it is an all matte palette with a lot of beautiful shades and a beautiful formula. Vizzy Art has a formula that really builds very easily. It blends how you want it. It just works how you need it to work. Every matte shade I could need as far as every day going out, pairing with many different looks. You have neutral browns here. You have some cool tone grays, pinks, purples, navies. You can do a lot with this palette. So for me, for all of the palettes in here, this is a palette that's going to pair well with almost all of them. This basically has everything I need as far as mattes go, as long as we're not getting crazy with colorful looks. So that is why I picked out this palette. Of course, it's a reliable formula and a great range of colors. The next palette I picked out was to fulfill my neutral needs. So I actually picked out the ABH Sultry palette. It was between this and the Soft Glam. And I know some of you are going to be like, what? Ultimately, I decided to go with Sultry because I love the shimmery, cool toned neutrals that we have in here. This year, for me, I I'm all about the cool tones. I've been loving them. So at this moment in time, this is the neutral palette that I need. It has very many steel, shimmery, really glittery colors in here that I feel I would need to do a glam smoky eye. It has great neutral matte shades in here. And if I do want to warm the look up, I can go into my Vizzy Art palette as well. So luckily with the Vizzy Art palette, I'm not short for warm colors because of those mattes that I can mix in. But I just love Love this. This is my ideal neutral palette and I love it even more than when I bought it because I'm so into cool tone neutrals now. So this would have to be in my collection of 10 shadows. I'm starting off with the more neutral shades here. I don't know why I'm going in that order, but I am. But I was thinking how I needed a good travel palette in my collection of 10 palettes. So I decided to go with the Huda Beauty Nude Medium. Now this one, the colors are more warm. So compared to the Sultry palette, this can also warm that up. And I just don't have a lot of these like red warm undertones in the palettes that I chose, not a lot of them anyways. So this kind of fulfilled that criteria you can get like a red cranberry look if you are going for that deep red, roses, all of that. This covers those bases and it's also a great palette to travel with as well. So if I needed something as far as size goes, this would be in the 10 that I could keep. I actually have not used this palette a lot, but every time I do use it, I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful formula. So if I had to narrow down my collection, God forbid, this would have to be in it because it's such a good quality palette with beautiful colors. And if I didn't have the wild collection that I have, I would definitely have used and abused this one. Kind of my last true neutral baby. This is from Dose of Colors and this is the Katie and Desi collection, the Friendcation palette. I just 
love this palette so much. I love the textures in here, the dimension that the shadows give you. Ultimately, I really just love this color right here. This is one of my favorite glam neutral glittery shades. It's so beautiful. It's almost a see-through shade where there isn't a base to it, but the glitters are just so stunning all over the eyelid for that glam neutral smoky eye or whatever you want to do with it. I also love the neutral tones in here. You can get more warm looks. You can get more cool looks. I just feel like this is a great all-in-one palette. It has everything that you need. You know, this is a survival palette for me for sure. I would need this and you can really get funky looks as well with this green gold right here. You have this blue, this black with so much glitter in it. This is just such a well-rounded palette. I would definitely be missing this one if it wasn't in my collection and it's a shame that it's no longer sold because for being 10 shades, this fills so many bases in my collection and so many needs that I feel a shadow palette should have. So they just did such a good job with this. I will never stop waxing poetic about it. The next palette that I chose, I of course had to add a Natasha Denona palette in here. There's a lot of palettes that I love from Natasha Denona, but I picked this palette because I need this formula in my collection and the Metropolis palette has so many colors. The main reason why I chose this palette is because you get a lot of colors from this formula. She has a lot of other palettes with bigger pans with a lesser number. So I just wanted something where I could kind of cheat and get the most colors possible. And not to mention the colors in here are really great. There's a lot of variety. You have a lot of neutral shades that I'm going to go for all the time. But you also have pops of colors. You can get some blue looks out of this palette. You can get some gold looks out of this palette. Some green looks. Some warm cranberry looks. This palette, again, it just checks off the list of things that I would want in an eyeshadow collection all in one palette just the array of colors and everything in here it just I don't the formula is why I would need to have this in my collection okay I'm gonna do the other two palettes that I'm cheating on because they have a lot of colors but I wanted more color in my collection I wanted a palette that was going to get me out of my comfort zone just one of those token palettes in my collection and I decided to go with the original ABH Norvina palette and I know a lot of you are probably shocked because nobody really truly needs this palette but you know if I'm curating a collection of 10 palettes I want something that's going to put me out of my comfort zone and to be quite honest I just truly love the formula of this palette I love how inspiring this palette is for me this one is to get my creative juices flowing if I really do feel like stepping outside of my box with my makeup I have this one as an option you can get a lot more looks out of this than you would think. Most of the base, of course, is purple, which is my favorite color, so that's why I gravitated towards this one over the other two in these collections. But you can also get a very red look. You can play around with some blue purples. You have a gold in here. You actually do have a larger array of colors than it would seem, and I love the formula of this, and I think that I wanted at least one colorful palette in my collection. So formulation-wise and inspiration-wise, this one was the one that I decided that I personally needed in my collection. One more large palette, the rest are normal size, but I wanted to add the ColourPop so Jaded palette. This was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and I chose this palette because it is the perfect mixture of pops of colors along with neutral tones. So you can get very neutral looks with this palette, but you can also get super bright looks or not so bright looks, but they're brighter than natural, if that makes sense. So I just feel like this has so many unique colors and textures that you can't find in any of the other palettes that I have. Now, of course, this palette covers so many different colors that this palette is going to complement a lot of the other palettes that I have. So for example, you can pull together a really cool teal look if you use this shade here and then the Friendcation palette, there's that blue in there. You can get an emerald look pairing it with the other greens in the Natasha Denona palette because there's not an emerald like this. You could take the matte blue in the Norvina palette and play around with these guys right here. So this palette, because it is so large with so many different colors, it's going to complement 
complement the other colors that I have in the palettes that I have chosen. A lot of times with palettes, you'll find they follow a specific color story. This one, though technically there is a color story, the colors themselves are all across the board. So that's why I chose to have this palette in here. And you guys know purple is my favorite color, so I wouldn't be happy unless I had a all purple dedicated eyeshadow palette. And for that, I chose the Viseart Liaison palette. Now the reason that I chose this is because this is one of my favorite formulas of purples, though the actual number of shades are limited. We do have the Norvina palette and the So Jaded palette to make up for that, but the formula in here is just incredible. You can actually get a relatively wearable purple look as well if you use these top three shades, and then you can get obnoxious with it down here or with the ABH matte shades to go if you want a true vibrant purple. So I just feel like this complemented the other shadows that I have, and it's my favorite formulation of purples, so I just know it's going to work well whenever I reach for it. This is definitely the token purple palette that I had to have in my collection, and it's small, it's portable, and it's a wearable version of purple if you want it to be as well. This one, I'm surprised made it into my top 10, but when I was laying out all of the palettes, because that's what I did, I put these out on a table, I opened them up, and I'm like, what am I missing? And this palette, I felt like fulfilled something that in my heart was missing. So I picked out the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. Just disclaimer, I am a health teacher, and if you are a student of mine, I certainly do not promote the use of marijuana, but the colors in here are really pretty, okay? Anyways, back to the makeup. I just love greens and these tones in here, and when I was looking at my palettes, I definitely had some pops of green, but I wanted an all green palette, and I like how you have some green golds here as well, ranging down to teal. This right here kind of fulfilled that void for me, that pop of color that I feel I would need if I wanted to create a look like that, and I just love this palette altogether. The quality is fabulous, the color story speaks to me, and it's a very unique palette, so I wanted to have this in there, and I'm very surprised. I put this in here, but I truly felt like something was missing and this fulfilled that. Okay, and it's time for the last one and I could not live with a collection without Pat McGrath in there. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I'm surprised I even only just picked one. It's just, you know, they only have 10 colors in a palette, so I needed that token Pat McGrath palette to feel okay with my collection. And just kind of looking at the colors that I have, I felt like this one was the one that I needed because it has so many of her special formulas in there. I love the shades of her special formula that she chose in this palette right here. The major reason why I wanted a Pat McGrath palette was for her Blitz Astral shades. So I was looking through all of the palettes that I had and this palette had my favorite of the Blitz Astral formula. You have an iridescent color, a blue color, a purple color, a green gold kind of color, and you also have some great neutral in here which are replicated in my other palettes that I chose but altogether this is the most unique Pat McGrath palette that I have in my collection I find it to be the most inspiring so that is why I picked this one out to be the one Pat McGrath palette that I would choose I really struggled with not putting broad seduction in this video but I had a lot of neutrals so I had to step outside the box, so that's why I chose this one, and I love the mix of formulations in here as well. Those are the 10 palettes that, if I could only keep 10, I would keep these. A lot of it, as you could listen, was because I wanted to have a variety of things to keep me motivated and to keep me feeling inspired with my collection and excited to put on makeup, because that's what it's all about for me. So it's not even about what my top 10 palettes are, it's what is going to keep me wanting to create looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was really fun for me to film. I'm challenging you to think of what you would do if you had to cut your collection down to 10, especially if you're a crazy junkie like me who has so many different palettes. So make sure you comment that down below. I'm curious. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.